this is question number 24 of IIT Jam Economics 2021 paper. Let's see what the question says. X and Y are two random variables with joint probability density function given. So this is the joint probability density function. And let's rewrite this. This is F of X, Y is equal to 6 X, Y. Z, you know, if y is between 0 and root x, and this is between 1, 0 otherwise. And you have to find the conditional probability, very simple question, of y greater than or equal to 1 by 3, given x is 2 by 3. Let's just do this. See, what is probability of a given b? It's probability of A intersection B upon probability of B, isn't it? And probability of A intersection B is nothing but it's given by the joint density function or joint distribution function. So we already have this joint density function given to us. So the probability of this basically can be written as probability of, you know, I can write it in terms of probability density, that would be easier. This would be probability density function, joint probability density function from here. And now I have to divide it by probability of B. What is B here? This is probability of A given B. This is B, right? How do we go from a uh, joint density function to only finding the probability of B? By finding out the marginal function, right? So I can go ahead and say that this is nothing but divided by the marginal probability function of X. This is something that we have done in class where we have studied about joint probability density function, marginal functions, and conditional probability function. So this is, you know, you can go ahead and remember this formula by this. This is intersection. Intersection is given by joint function. And to find the probability of any one of these out of the joint function, you find the marginal function. Now, let's go ahead and first of all, find out the marginal function. So the marginal function f x x y, how do we find the marginal function for all values of y, right? So we are going to integrate 6 x y dy and y is going to range from 0 to root x. You're taking all possible values of x uh, of y for a given x and adding those together to get the probability of x as a whole. So please understand. What are we doing here? See, for example, your x and y. x can take value 1, 2, 3. y can also take value 1, 2, 3. For 2, y can take value 1, 2, 3. For 3, y can take value 1, 2, 3. So if I want to ask you what is the probability of x, then you will say probability that x is 1 given y is 1 plus probability that x is 1 given y is 2. y can differ, right? But you have to find for x. So you add all possible y's together for this x. To get the entire probability of x equal to 1. So I'm finding the probability of x by adding it over different y's. And in joint, you know, in continuous function, adding is done by integrating, right? Again, this is coming from the lecture. Please refer to it. So I'm just going ahead and finding the marginal function. Now. This is simple. This will be 6x. Different uh, integration of y will be y square by 2. And it will go from 0 to root x. So this will be 6x y square. Instead of that, I will write root x whole square by 2. Minus, of course, 0. So this will be 6x x by 2. This will be 3x square. So we have got this part where we are saying that it is 3x squared. Now, 
let's go back and see what was probability of y given x it was in our terms fxy upon fx marginal function what is the joint density function that we have got 6xy so i'm going to write it as it is this is 6xy what is marginal function that i have got 3x square so if i divide this i will get 2y by x so 2y by x actually becomes my probability of y given x right now once you have got this 2y by x let's put the actual question what is the question saying the question is saying what is the probability of y greater than equal to 1 by 3 given x is 2 by 3 so because it is given that so because i have to find out what is the probability that y is greater than equal to 1 by 3 given x is 2 by 3 i can go ahead and here say that this is going to be the probability that y is greater than equal to 1 by 3 which is going to be 2y so i'm going to put the value of x and x is 2 by 3 so divided by 2 by 3 so this will be 3y now once we have gone ahead and done this i just want to find out i've already put down the value of x as 2 by 3 and once I find out the value of x, now I'm just left up with the probability of finding that y is greater than equal to 1 by 3 from this function. So how do I go ahead and how do I do this from this function? So I know that y is greater than or equal to 1 by 3. So to find the probability, I will integrate this probability density function starting from 1 by 3 and till what will it go? it will go till the value of root of x. So y ranges between 0 to root x. But the lower limit of y is given to us as 1 by 3. So 1 by 3 to root x. So this will be 3. y square by 2 from 1 by 3 to root x. This will be 3. Root x square by 2 minus 1 by 3 whole square by 2 this will be 3 by 2 x minus 1 by 9 and now i know that again given that x is 2 by 3 i already know the value of x so i know that x is 2 by 3 so i will just put again 3 by 2 2 by 3 minus 1 by 9 this will come by to 3 by 2, 4 by 9 minus 1 by 9. So this will simply, so 6 by 9 minus 1 by 9. Uh, so this will come out to be 5 by 9 into 3 by 2. So the final answer will be 5 by 6. So we have the answer as C, which is 5 by 6. Now let's see what we have done and how did we solve this question. So first of all, you should remember what is the formula for finding out. You should remember what is the formula for finding out the uh, conditional probability. Conditional probability is given by probability of joint 1 by 3 intersection x equal to 2 by 3 upon the probability of x equal to 2 by 3. To find this probability of x equal to 2 by 3 from the joint, you have to find marginal probability. So to find marginal probability, you are going to go ahead and integrate this function over different values of y. So we went ahead, we integrated this function over different values of y and we know that y ranged between 0 to root x and x was already given as 2 by 3. So this was 6x, y square by 2 between 0 to root x. This was 6x, x by 2. This was 3x square. 
but we knew that x is given as 2 by 3 so add x equal to 2 by 3 this came out to be 3 2 by 3 whole square right then the second thing that happened here is we had to go ahead and find out this joint distribution so joint distribution was already given to us as 6y so we simply said that okay this is 6 6x y so after we used this uh, formula we went ahead and we got this so we got 6xy here in place and we had f of xy here and then we put down the value of x. You can put the value of x here or you could have put the value of x here itself. It's the same thing. You could have put it here and you could have got 4 by 9 and then after getting 4 by 9, you could have directly used 4 by 9 here. It is fine. It will do the same thing because... <laughs> Even here, you're going ahead and just putting the value of x. So you can put the value of x either directly here and put 4 by 9 here and then just put the value of x here also or take this as it is here, get the final number and put the value of x here. It's the same thing. So after you put the value of x, you got a function and the function you got was 3y. So you have already considered that now x is equal to 2 by 3. Given x is 2 by 3, your function that you got was 3y. Now just we have to ensure that y is greater than or equal to 1 by 3. So we integrated the function from 1 by 3 to the upper limit of y. And at last again, we put down the value of x as 2 by 3. Right. So this is how you can go ahead and solve this question.